Welcome in to Fast Five with Jay Walker and Scott Prather. Hi, everybody. What's up? It's Fast Five. True or false, the three and four New Orleans Saints, fresh off a hard-fought win over the Seahawks, will pull their record over 500 at some point this season. True. Now, I've been a guy who's been down on the Saints ever since the summertime. But when it's San Francisco this week, you're four and four. Then all you got to do is get one more. You're over 500. I think they can do it. Yeah, but after San Francisco, it's Denver. And then it's Carolina on the road on a short week. I feel like that 0-3 start, they're going to constantly be trying to get above it. I just... Oof. Why do you hate the Saints? I love this. Uh-huh. Doesn't look like it. Battle round. Since the Chicago Cubs broke through and won the World Series, what American sports franchise is the most cursed? Well, I, I thought about saying the Cleveland Browns, but since their city is enjoying some nice recent success, despite the fact that the Browns suck, Gosh, how about the LA Clippers? Because while they may be a good team now that's consistently in the playoffs, they've never been to the conference finals. They've been in a number of cities. They've been around for a really long time and they have the worst winning percentage of any American sports franchise ever. Thought about saying the Pelicans, but the Clippers, they've just been around longer. Yeah, the Clippers have been around longer, but you know what? If they win the NBA title, is anybody gonna care? Because they're always gonna be in the Lakers' shadow. I'm going with Buffalo. The Bills have never won the Super Bowl. The Sabres have never won the Stanley Cup. And then on top of that, they don't have any other sports franchises. So they got nothing. They got loyal fans. Donkey Round. Will LSU beat Alabama on Saturday? No. Alabama's deal now is they've got an offense to go with their defense. It's a complete football team. Yes, the freshman quarterback for Bama finally going to play like one. The noise level is going to be immense in Death Valley, Tigers Lane. Donkey round. How will the Cajuns beat Idaho on Saturday at homecoming? Defense, man. The defensive line, the front seven for the Cajuns has been good all year. Now their secondary is starting to play really well. Think big. Cajuns haven't had many big plays. They're going to have a chance to get some this weekend. They've got to get some big plays on that. It's time for a winner and loser of the week. The winner of the week... Tom Brady. Not only did he lead New England to another victory over Buffalo, he even got a great present from a fan in the stands. Now that's winning. Loser of the week, Ben Simmons. Ben, your whole message about, well, players get nothing from the NCAA, you're the wrong guy to give that message. First of all, in Australia, you didn't have to go play in the States. Three players have been drafted in the top 10 out of Australia since 2014. He's the only one that went and played college ball. Secondly, if you hadn't gone and played college ball, chances are you don't have a $20 million deal with Nike right now, and you don't get your little Showtime documentary. So while you might have some credence in some of your complaints, you're not the guy who should be saying it. That's it for Fast Five. I got got nothing after that because he's spot on. I'm Jay. I'm Scott. We'll see you next week.